What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be answering some of your PlayStation 4 game sharing questions. Okay, so back in May, I made the video explaining how to successfully game share on the PlayStation 4. Now the method that I explained in the video comes straight from Sony, because at the time that I wanted to start game sharing with my friend, I couldn't find anything online, nothing seemed to be working for us, so I contacted Sony and the way that I explained in the video is exactly what Sony told me to do. It's been working for literally months and it's been working for a lot of people, but in that video I get a lot of questions and a lot of people asking the same questions over and over and over again, so I decided to make this video kind of answering some of those questions. So the first thing that I want to mention is the number one comment that I keep getting on that video and I'm assuming I'm going to be getting that comment on this video as well but that is people asking to game share. They're basically commenting the games that they have, the games that they want, and their PlayStation ID. When I keep getting these comments I keep deleting them because, and Sony agrees with this, they're the ones that told me and I fully support this as well, you should only be game sharing with somebody that you trust family, friends, people that you actually know, not strangers, and definitely not somebody that you find in YouTube comments. People that you have no idea who they are, people are basically giving them your information and letting them sign into your account thinking that you're going to game share, and a lot of people are getting hacked and losing their accounts because of it. So whenever I see these comments, I delete them. You should only be game sharing with somebody that you trust. So I just wanted to mention that because if I get those comments for this video, I will be deleting them as well. But now getting into the real questions that you guys have about game sharing. First of all, uh, does their account have to be on their friend's PlayStation 4? Yes, if you are game sharing, your PlayStation account has to remain on your friend's PlayStation 4 if your friend still wants to play the games afterwards. Any games that he downloads, he will be able to play them, but if you... If he takes off his your account off of his PlayStation 4, those games are going to remain on his library, but they're going to show the lock symbol. He's not going to be able to play them, and whenever he tries to play them, it's going to direct him to the PlayStation Store, asking him to make the purchase. So yes, your account has to remain on your friend's PlayStation 4. The next question, which relates to it as well, can I put my account back to primary once I have game shared? No, once you switch your account back to primary, even if your account is still on your friend's PS4, he will have all of the games at the lock symbol as well, so he will not have access to those games and will not be able to play them anymore. Your account has to not only remain on his PlayStation 4, but it also has to be set as primary on his PlayStation 4. Now, I do just want to mention, by you not having your own personal PlayStation account on your own personal PlayStation set as primary, you do lose some of the primary features, but you are going to have to look into that. I'm not going to explain them all in this video because there is quite a few and they've been adding recently with different updates that are things that if your account does not have it set as primary, you will not have the ability to do. So I definitely would recommend doing looking into that before game sharing, but if you are game sharing, your, your account has to be on your friend's PS4 and it has to be set as primary on their PlayStation 4. And the next one, if I delete my friend's account off of their PS4, will I still have the games? No, if you are game share, if somebody game shared with you, their account has to remain on your PlayStation 4 and also, like I just mentioned, set as primary to be able to play those games. You will still have those games technically, even if you delete their account off of your PlayStation 4, but it's going to show the lock symbol, you're not going to be able to play them, and it's going to ask you to purchase the game whenever you try to get into them. However, if you did game share and you have the games, any trophies that you earned while you were able to play those games, you're going to still have on your trophy list, and any save data, it's going to be saved into your cloud, it's just you're not going to be able to play the game until you purchase the game or game share with that person once again. The next question, can you both play the game that was shared at the same time? Absolutely yes. Whether you guys are just playing at the same time and playing single player, whatever game it is, or if you guys are wanting to play online multiplayer or co-op, yes, you are able to play the game at the same time, even if it is multiplayer, because it acts as if you purchase the game and you have your own copy, even though it was game shared with you, you are able to play at the same time. Me and my friend do this all the time. It's simply like you purchase the game on your own. 
You don't have to log on to your friend's account to be able to play the game. It's on your own account if he game shared with you. So yes, you're able to play at the same time. Next, can you game share between three accounts? Honestly, as far as I can tell online, you are able to. I just do not know the method. I'm not sure exactly how to do it. I've seen other people are able to do it and they show in different videos how to game share with between three accounts. I don't know how to do it. Sony didn't tell me that information. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't want to game share with three people. I don't have a need to either. I've never attempted to, so I can't say for sure if there is or isn't. From what I see online, there is. I just never attempted anything, so if it's something that interests you, I recommend looking into it. But for me, Sony told me game sharing between two accounts is okay. And that's the method that I shared in my video. So three accounts, I'm not sure how exactly that would work, but apparently you can. You just have to find out on your own. And the last question is one that I'm getting quite a bit. Other than people asking to game share, that's the number one comment that I'm getting. But the question is, will my credit card info and wallet be shared as well? Absolutely not. Credit card information is pretty sensitive and it basically acts as if the same way as if you were to purchase a brand new PlayStation 4 and attempt to log into your account for the first time. If you go and check your credit card information, it's not going to be there. It's going to ask you to input it again. And that's like I said, because it is sensitive information. If you're going to game share with somebody, they're not going to make it pretty easy for them to get your information, your credit card information, stuff like that. That stuff does not transfer whenever you game share because it acts, like I said, the same way as if you purchase a brand new PlayStation 4, your credit card information does not transfer. So you're 100% safe there. But I do understand why people are concerned about their credit card information being transferred, because me personally, I would not give my credit card information to anybody, even if I trust them. So if I'm game sharing with somebody, I definitely wouldn't game share if my credit card information was going to be transferred as well. But these are the most common questions that I'm getting in my previous game sharing video. If there's any questions that I did not mention that you guys have about game sharing, comment them down below. I will try to answer everything that I can to the best of my ability. But in that video, I've gotten so many comments. So I wanted to basically make this video explaining and trying to answer as many of those questions as I can. But yes, there is a chance that some questions I missed or some maybe I wasn't getting too often, so I didn't want to mention in this video. So anything that you guys have, any questions, just put them down below. But again, I just want to mention if anybody asks to game share in the comments down below of this video, I'm going to be deleting those comments as much as I can whenever I see them. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully this has answered some of your questions about game sharing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.